Hello everyone, welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Um, sitting this way today so you can see that pretty autumn leaf color tree. It's pretty windy so I hope you all can hear okay. Today's devotion is entitled Motorboats and Canoes. And the verse for today is Matthew 11, 28, and 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Imagine for a moment that you're sitting in a deck chair at a riverside cabin. It's late in the afternoon and the water is smooth and tranquil in this stretch of river. There's no noise of traffic or even airplanes overhead. The only sounds are bird songs, the whisper of the breeze in the branches of the nearby trees, and an occasional fish jumping. From time to time, you see wildlife at the water's edge, herons, deer, red-winged blackbirds. Occasionally, a boat passes by on the water. You can hear the motorboats coming for a few minutes before they appear, their engines slowly growing louder until they finally come around the bend. Sometimes coming upstream, sometimes going downstream. The people wave if they notice you there. The person at the tiller is watching ahead, steering carefully. They quickly pass out of sight. As the sound of the motor fades, the wake from their boat sloshes at the dock. Other boats, canoes and kayaks and drift boats are so quiet that you'll know they're coming only if the people are talking or laughing. They are almost always drifting downstream. The people may be fishing and they are apt to be silent, looking around, drinking in all that they see. If you happen to be reading when they pass by, you might not notice them at all. Both types of boats have their uses. If someone were lost or injured and needed help, you'd want the motorboat for sure. A lot of our time is spent zipping along like that motorboat, but when we need renewal, the canoe quietly gliding downstream is just the ticket. We can seek similar renewal in prayer and meditation. The current of the living water carries us as we rest. We listen. He reminds us of how his love is for us. He soothes our fractious minds and binds up our wounded and weary hearts. He gives us rest. Thank you, Lord, for the rest that you give me. Your kindness and gentleness heal me. I yield to you. So, you know, in life we have different personalities at different times. We could be louder sometimes. We can be quieter other times. And um, sometimes different moments call for different types of attitude. You know, there's a time to really be loud in what you believe morally. And then there's a time to just quietly glide along and listen and then get that rest that you need. I just would hope that we all can find time to rest and soak up what we need for our souls, the Lord Jesus, his words, and meditate on that and readjust um, our tracking so that we are following after him. I don't know if you guys can see. There's a, what I believe is a Katie did on the edge of that bench right here. Doesn't look like I'm pointing at it, but right there. 
It's a really nice day out. It's a little bit extra windy, but um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a blessed week and I'm trying to get this off so I could show you around. It's really starting to change colors a bit. I have to get the rest of my fall garden planted. And it's a lovely day. So I hope everybody is doing well and that you have a really good weekend. You guys take care of yourselves. God bless. I love you. Bye.